Hey guys, welcome back to my channel called How To. Today I'm back with an amazing software called Phone Tool, uh, which is one of the best software that I have seen so far from Illuminator. Okay, so brief about Phone Tool. Uh, 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 it, it's a tool that is specifically designed for iPhone users. Okay, so those who are holding iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, right, and they want to manage their data uh, efficiently and moreover very easily and this is the software that you need to check it out okay so i have already downloaded downloaded this software and installed it on my machine on my windows machine right and even i have I've given you the link uh, for downloading the software you can check it out on the description below and let's do the review of the software okay so once you install the phone tool okay uh, it will look like this right so there are a couple of fields that I can see. Uh, so this is a simple uh, dashboard or a GUI of phone tool. So first is my device, second is phone backup, third is backup history, fourth uh, phone transfer and toolbox. Okay, so we're gonna check it out all the features that, that the phone tool uh, software is providing for us, right? And trust me, even I am an iPhone user, even I do have an Android phone as well and even I do have Apple phone as well, right? But the 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 chaos that i feel that the, the like you know the, the issues that i face while uh if, if i talk about managing the data uh efficiently right in in ios as compared to android is is, is like you know uh brainstorming okay it's like way too uh difficult for me to manage my data and see this is the software that like you no know, it is like you know, taking off my burden right so I will be uh, using my iPhone that I'm holding right now to test this software out and to provide you the description and, and the features that like you know this phone tool is providing okay so first is my device right it will it, it will show you uh, a, a simple GUI neat and clean GUI that like you know you need to connect your device via USB cable right so the same I'm gonna do it right now I will be connecting my iOS uh, on this laptop uh, from my USB cable okay so let's see how it will prompt me okay let's wait I have just plugged in my USB cable and I'm awaiting uh, uh, I'm awaiting for tool to see that iPhone okay so boom see as soon as like you know um, you will plug in your iPhone uh, it will ask you to trust this device okay you need to tap on trust and then as soon as you will tap on trust this uh, device you will able to see your device information over here okay so my my phone name is Ashish iPhone okay so model is this right the system version I'm running the capacity I do have and the use ca used space that I have uh, done so far and the free space that I'm having right now right so it's a pretty neat and clean dashboard which is giving me an entire picture of my iphone right also which version i'm running out right uh which uh, what's what's the capacity i have what's the used used space free space and even like you know from here i can explore my data right pretty cool see if i click on data explore right it will uh show me everything that i'm holding on on my iphone right so the photos music video contacts and messages okay so everything is listed out over here okay if i'll make the full screen right so all the photos that i do have right all the hidden files all the recent files that i have uh, watched so far all the whatsapp galleries screen recording and so on and so forth right everything have been uh, like you know, everything that your iphone is holding uh, in context of data right that is something i can see from here right and if you want to import it for example if you want to select it uh, manually you know, like you know what sort of files you want to import on your on your local machine you can like you know uh, export to computer select the files export to computer or else you can entirely select everything at once select all and then export to computer okay so this is something like you know you can export your data from an uh, ios device to your uh, to your machine right and if you click on setting here um, over here right so it will show you it will give you an option where you want to export your data right 
so basically the by default uh, where my data will be export will be c drive and is user and so on and so forth and at the end there's a full tool folder phone tool folder wherein my data will be exported right and even there are a couple of fields you can check it out like you know if you want to uh if there are duplicate file name what you want to do you want to rename or you want to escape or you want to replace right and a couple of other settings for phone like you know for photo setting a couple of options that like you know as per your need uh you can like you know change and tweak settings right so these are a couple of options that you could see over here right for contact settings like you know how you want to export the contacts and so on and so forth right so basically it will uh it will be your like you know the export directory along with some additional uh, features that uh then, like you know it will provide you while you want to export your data from your iphone 2 or or iphone ipod ipad and to your uh, machine okay and uh what else um so even like similar to music if you have some music that you have downloaded and you want to export yes you can do the export right and uh, for videos yeah you can do the same for contacts you can, you can do the same right and for even messaging you can do the same but yes if you want to export your contact what you want what you have to do first is you have to go on setting on your on your, on your phone on your ios device and step two would be go to apple id right i click over here on the first uh that screen uh, probably it would be your uh, name along with your photo right uh, click over there click on contacts uh over uh, click on contacts that will be inside of icloud okay so click on icloud over there you could see contacts toggle it off right once you'll toggle it off and then click okay then only you will be able to export your contacts okay so that's how it is um so moving forward to our next part it is our phone backup right so if you want to take a selective backup or a full backup that is something uh, this tool is providing for us selective means like you know from an ios phone what sort of files you want to select as a backup or you want to take a backup of your entire um, iphone okay or, a, or, a, or an ipad right so it's all up to you right if you want to take a full backup for example i'll just click on get started right and then enable uh, backup encryption if you want to enable backup encryption click on enable right and backup storage path so for which path and for where you want to store the backup right when, once you click on plus uh, you, you need to select the directory or like you know the path where you want to keep this where you want to store your backup right for example e drive or you know, whatever drive you want to select it and, and with the path select the folder right and, and and select folder and click on okay okay so that's how your backup will be stored right so right now i'm not proceeding for the backup i just want to click on cancel okay so it will even show you like you know the free space and the total space for that particular drive uh well yes okay so this is called full backup and even there's a selective backup right wherein you want to select a uh, uh, particular uh, like if you want to take the backup of your photos or if you want to take a, take a backup of your music or videos right uh, or any one of like you know any one item or two or, or two or three so on and so forth as per your need right and then even select the backup storage path and click on start backup right so it's a pretty cool right and like look like how easy it is to like you know to take the backup from an uh, apple ios devices to your windows machine right and like I, I i love this product being an iphone user it was like chaos for me uh, like you know to manage uh my data uh, and to like you know to transfer my data back and forth from my windows machine uh, to iphone and then vice versa right so a uh, backup history says if you have created any backup uh, prior it will i'll show you over here if you have already uh, done a backup of backups prior then it will list out your it, it will list out that history of the backup that we have done so far right so i have i haven't done so far so i'll proceed to the next part that would be phone transfer right so uh, there are a couple of options for phone transfer the first one would be iphone to pc right if you want to transfer your data from iphone to pc the second one would be pc to iphone and the third one would be iphone to iphone but please make a note for uh, like you know for iphone to iphone transfer uh, probably you need to have a license for it right i need to have a professional license or there is an option of purchasing out an ultimate uh, unlimited license uh, as per your need right so check that out i think uh, 
they are offering some sort of uh, a discount right now so this is the best time to grab uh, this software and I, I i would suggest like no this is something you need to have handy uh, this is an like you know best software and, and pretty cool uh, it, it is not taking that much of processor processing power on a machine right as compared to other devices in the market but yeah i'm like i, I would suggest to check this software out it, it's, it is something like you know you should be having in your machine okay uh, well, yes, for iPhone to iPhone, you need a pro version, right? For PC to iPhone, uh, if you are using a free version, then there is a capping, okay? So the file transfer would be 30 files per day, right? If you are running a, a free version, and for that part, if you want to transfer files from PC to iPhone, only 30 files per day you can transfer. Similarly, for, for, for iPhone to PC as well, you could transfer 30 files per day, right? So the process will be the same. You can start transfer and click the plus icon right and select the files that you want that you want to transfer right manually uh, all photos all hidden files all recent files all whatsapp and, and so on and so forth right as per your need and then click on okay okay so for free users uh, you could only transfer 30 files per day but for yes for professional and and those who are having uh, unlimited uh, for the lifetime license code they could use this unlimited there is no capping as such okay so the last part would be toolbox right for the toolbox what what we, what we can uh, get is like if you want to uh, take the backup uh, pro, not, not the backup if you want to uh, like you know, erase the data from your iphone right if you want to factory set your iphone uh, so that is something you can even do from here to here right so i'm aware of the consequences click on this and if you want to like you know uh, enable deep erase technology uh, like you know you, you don't want to leave any residual files over here then this is something like you know you need to have a plan for to opt this feature enable deep erase technology else uh, you, like you know, escaping this technology you, you can escaping this option you can even uh, proceed with other other checklist and you can erase the data from here as well right so that's something like you know uh, uh, this tool is having all these feature set which is way too amazing and, and I, I and this is the best product from uh amy i check i have uh and like even they have some other products that is something like you know uh i, I love about it but like you know for iphone that is something i i do use on my daily basis and for managing all these uh like you know uh data uh, back and forth from my pc to like you know from iphone to pc and 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 so on and so forth uh this tool is like you know uh, helping me a lot or like while managing a data in, in in case of iphones in case of ios devices okay so well uh, this is a quick review about this phone tool uh right you know that i'm holding right now i think uh, if you are even an iphone users and if you want to help yourself and your friends out there right uh, I, I i i believe this is the software you could uh, install it and make your day-to-day -day activity smoother okay so that's all about this uh phone tool please do let me know if you have any additional queries about it if you need any sort of additional information for uh for my end to help you out uh but yes but yes even one more thing i think uh, even phone tool is coming up with like you know uh, better options uh better uh, feature set uh, going further that is something I have seen in their website that is something like you no know, I would like to show you um, just a second grab you I think over here once you'll download the software it will land you on a web page of AOMI uh, of that phone tool.com wherein you could see all the feature set that the phone tool uh, have and even the additional like you know the upcoming features that they will be coming forward right going going forward so just a second yes so the new features coming soon would be a custom erase right and like you could uh customize your erase path right uh, if you want to uh, delete only messages or contacts or such such history or photos and like this right so there, there will be custom custom erase uh, you can you could even like you know backup whatsapp data icloud management backup and transfer more app data user friendly data browser and unlock iphone passcode right reset your iphone passcode if you forget it 
right so these are most like you know an amazing feature set that uh phone tool will be coming for like you know coming to launch sooner and i even are waiting for for this feature set to like you know, test it out but just yes. meanwhile these are the feature set that phone tool is offering for uh, iphone users or for ios users right so that's all that's all uh from my end i think i have covered all the parts so far i mean i think we're good here yep so thank you so much for watching uh please do let me know if you have any doubts or comments or if you feel any sort of improvement that is needed and please check this uh, software out and thank you so much for watching see you until next time bye bye